my dog cut his nose on a piece of glass just a block from my house and he was hurt pretty bad, bleeding all over the sidewalk. And I called the city and I said, there's broken glass and trash all over Firestone Park. And they said, do you know we have a trash problem? We're not sure how to fix it. And I said, well, I can do my part, start picking up trash. So I planned on picking up trash just where I walked my dogs, just around the block. But after I started doing it and I saw how nice it looked, I just kept going mm -hmm. until I cleaned all 74 streets in Firestone Park. I started with a bag, it blew around, that didn't work very well. So then I got a bucket, a five gallon bucket. And when I had glass in it and some heavy things, it hurt my elbow. So that's when I went shopping. I bought a dolly, a trash can that fit on it, and bungee cords to hold it in place. And then I bought bags that have, um, they're 33 gallon bags that have drawstrings so I can attach it to the handle and stuff doesn't blow out. idea how much I was picking up. Um, I was telling someone that I was picking up hundreds of pieces of garbage a day and I thought maybe that's an exaggeration. I better make sure. So the first time I counted, I counted 993 pieces and there was a hubcap and a Walmart bag in there. So I know that each bag holds between a thousand and two thousand pieces of trash. Right now, Firestone Park is under control. I can drive around and pick up all the trash in an hour in the whole Firestone Park area, all 74 streets. So now I'm working on Akron South, which is Main Street to downtown, and Akron East, which is Arlington Road, which is quite a challenge. There's a lot of trash over there. So I'm just gonna, when I get those done, I'll ask Jackie where I can go next, and she'll send me in another neighborhood. Because it, it once it's deep cleaned, which is the hard part, it stays clean. You get new trash, but it's easy to pick up.